And hello to you from the home of football here in London, Wembley Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's England versus Germany. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Kyle Walker plays with Trent Alexander Arnold in the fullback positions. Raheem Sterling plays with Phil Foden out wide. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. And the match is underway. Kai Havertz. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, tight offside decision. But the flag does go up. Lovely ball over the top. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Well, foul play, says the referee. Well, no card from the referee, Stuart. But I think it's good refereeing. He's just letting everybody know who's in charge here. And he whips it in. Clears it away. Keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. And a short corner, let's see. Henderson. That's not a bad ball. Well off target. Didn't have an awful lot of space to work with, however. Goretzka Gnabry Well it looked highly promising but they got nothing out of it Now what can England do from this position Oh great attacking play Well hit with power and almost the right precision Snuffing out the danger. And can they exploit the space out wide? But nothing comes of it. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Disappointing for Germany to give it away in that fashion. Decent position. Here's Kane. Now the attack fizzled out. A foul, but advantage played. Sané. Has someone to play it to. An authoritative challenge. 
And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Goretzka. Goretzka. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Sterling. Can he find the net? Body on the line. Succeeded in keeping it in play. The room to roam on the wing. Space and time for the cross. Regained possession. They've chosen to go through Harry Kane. Options around him. Must score! And there it is! The opening goal! 1-0! And they'll feel they deserve it! Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then through on goal, he never really had any doubt that he wouldn't slot that away. It's a cool finish. Substitution time it is. So underway again here. One nil the score. Havertz. And return to Müller. This could square the game. But the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Whatever way you look at that, it's been squandered. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back underway here, advantage England after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. Harry Kane. Sterling. And Germany with the ball again. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Well, being closely marked, but the header, nothing to write home about. Well, the stats tell you everything. They've lacked invention, they've lacked creativity, and they haven't got the ball into the penalty area often enough. And that's why they're behind in this game. Not a good pass. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something and still an opportunity. Teammate in support and running through to the keeper. Alexander Arnold. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. 
Oh, given away, Raheem Sterling. Müller. They all know their roles as they apply the pressure. Wonderfully weighted pass. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Serge Gnabry. Decent position for Germany to be in. And mopping up defensively. Sané. Chance to reduce the arrears. Just cleared away in the nick of time. And into the last 20 minutes. Havertz and read the danger magnificently well if he gets this wrong a penalty and a sending off but he was spot on with his challenge showing a lot of guile there good defending in the end and danger averted for now Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. He's found a pocket of space. So almost at full time and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've... Oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this! And a goal! to tighten things up they've thrown themselves a lifeline Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Substitution time as is here. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. The fans are driving the players on. Surely they'll hang on here. They've won back possession. Oh, do they have it in them to level this? Could play it in. And still dangerous. And I think the threat has been averted. Kane. Now with Rashford. save well they've won the ball back quickly the referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time and there it is